Hi, this is Moshe Morris from Search Marketing Courses, and I wanted to do a brief tutorial, uh, an introduction to HTML. Uh, I have here a blank page on Notepad, which is a program that comes free with uh, all Windows computers, and we're going to use this to start creating an HTML page. Um, we're going to start with two tags, the HTML tag. A tag is coded information that appears within these kind of pointed brackets, as you see right here and they they have usually, not although not always, there's what's called an opening tag and a closing tag. Let me show you some examples. First of all, HTML. I'm going to notice here that I'm going to bring two tags here called HTML. This is usually, these are usually the first and last tags that appear on a web page. Um, and this is what uh, defines that the, everything that's in between these two tags is going to be the HTML code that we use to um, code our page. So the tag starts with HTML and ends with HTML. Now, let me show in a, in a second. I'll, I'll show a better example of, uh, of what that will mean for us. These opening and closing tags. Let's take um, uh, some text, bolded and not bolded. So here we have some text. Let's say I want this word to be bolded, but not this word. How do I do that? Well, I can use tags like I just talked about. I can take the tag, the B tag, the bold tag, and I can make that bolded. Uh, and then only that is bolded. Or if I want to add in the word and in there, so then only the words bolded and are, are in bold. The words not bolded, anything that comes outside these tags will not be changed. They'll be just standard, whatever is uh, for, you know, unaffected by these tags. So in this situation, some text won't be bolded, and not bolded won't be bolded. Just the phrase bolded and. Um, and this, these tags is, basically this is the essence of HTML. If I don't want this to be bolded, if I want this to be underlined, I use a different tag. I use the U tag. Now, this bolded and is actually underlined. So I could maybe change the text to make more sense. I would say underlined and not underlined. Um, if I wanted to make this italics, I'd use an I. So this is this is an easy way to to change um, how this text is presented, uh, how this text looks. Now there's much more that we can do do than just bolding and underlining and uh, so on and so forth and italicizing. But this, for the first lesson at least, is a good introduction to what HTML does. Um, it, you use these tags, opening and closing tags usually, to kind of organize and uh, present your, uh, inf your content uh, in a way that the browsers, the web browsers like Internet Explorer and Firefox can logically make sense of and uh, utilize. Okay, so that's the first lesson. Um, I'll have more lessons to come. Hope you find that helpful. This is Moshe Morris from Search Marketing Courses. Be well. Bye-bye.